Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Starting with the second chapter in this course, which is adopted and will tackle with the verbs and the verb phrase. So it's supposed to tackle or to deal with if, um, the characteristics, the forms, uh, what relates to the verb as an element in the sentence, and what <coughs> as the basic unit or the, the central element in the sentence. We have said before that the verb is a central element. Without the, without the verb, no sentence. Yeah, no verb, no sentence. This is the main idea. And we have the verb phrase. The, the verb phrase in which uh, I have the verb as one word or more than one word, consisting, again, for example, an auxiliary, model, and the, the main verb. Accordingly, concerning the verb phrase, we are going to have types of verb. Generally speaking, verbs are classified into lexical and auxiliary. Lexical and auxiliary. Lexical, the words that are found in the dictionary, they carry a meaning, a lexical meaning. They are found as what, without function, they complete the meaning of the sentence itself. Walk, cry, play, beautify, drink, eat, uh, walk, and something like that. So all the words that carry meaning, that carry a lexical meaning. The auxiliary verb, they're functional verb. They have a, cer a certain function in the sentence. They do in order to what? Uh, they are just like an operator, an auxiliary. They have a certain function, a linguistic function. Or, yeah, but auxiliary can be primary a model. They are subclassified into primary and model. The primary I have three groups or three categories do have be. They do like do does did, they have has had have and I have be verbs is are are was were and the the different forms of the verb be. Concerning the model the module can, could, may, might, shall, should, will, would, and all these verbs. Yani, they carry the, what, the mood of the sentence. They carry the mood of the sentence, and they have what they are followed by. Uh, they are followed by a, a base form of the verb. So please, here I have what. I have generally speaking, generally for each verb, there are what five verbs or five forms. The verb of forms and the verb of phrase. So it's supposed to be, each verb is supposed to have five forms, five verb of forms. What are they? Many English verbs have five forms. What are they? The base, without any addition, the S form having the third person singular, the past, you see the past, I have what, uh, the past form of the verb, the ing participle, adding ing to the verb, and the ed participle, who were the past participle of the verb. So generally I have five, the base, the s, s form, the, the past, and uh, the, yeah, the past I say what, the past simple. And the ing participle having the present simply having ing to the verb, and the ed participle here past the participle. Examples of this form uh, as indication of their functions are given in the table below on. Regular verb, a regular in which they are what? Regular in the sense just adding what? Just adding ed, the, the, uh, the, the addition ed to the base to have what? to have I in, uh, the, the past form and the past participle. So they are regular. And we are going to see different forms for the verb and different classes. Regular lexical verbs have the same ed inflection for both the past tense and the ed participle. Yeah, and called. Irregular lexical verbs vary from three. You see, puts, had a base. Put as third person, putting had an ing participle. 
when it passed with past participle نفسه هي puts يعني يعني they are range there are different range from eight to what to three so we have here eight but again I have a verb containing eight different forms like be be is what it is the uh, uh, the base form اللي هي الفعل مجرد am is are اللي هي present simple اللي هي الاس form was were it is the past form being it is the ing participle and then it is the ed participle you see so يعني each verb concerning the irregular the irregular verb they are different from from uh, three for example to eight but concerning the regular no they are five the model auxiliaries are defective in not having infinitive يعني concern, يعني all the lexical verbs having the, uh, the infinitive to walk to drink to eat to play to purify Again, no ing concerning the model, like I can, I, I can say drinking, buying, eating, but I cannot say mying, mighting. It is participle, no it is participle for the, the model, no imperative form for the model. What else we have? Look at this table, it is very important. Here I have these these base forms or these forms the verbal form of the verb and for each form I have please pay more attention for the symbol that is used to indicate the form of the verb and here I have one here the form the symbol indicating the form the, an example and I have the functions what are the functions, what are the structures in which I can find such a verb or such a form I can say starting with the base it's abbreviated or as a symbol V, capital V an example called drink pot what is its functions first, all the present tense except third person, singular كلهن Third person singular. Yani, for example, I call. Bili present tense. I call. You call. We call. They call. Hadi estekhde bil base form. Bili present simple. Second, imperative. Imperative form. Call me at once, for example. Drink this water. Bil imperative, I use the base form. Subjunctive. It is one category uh, to, to expressing or indicating mood. It is what called I use the base form regardless of the, the tense, regardless of the, the subject I have. I use what sub, uh, the base form. He demanded, he demanded that she call. You see, she call. Call here, she here, either as the present or with the past. But since case this is concerning subjunctive, so I have to have the base form after the, the subject. The bare infinitive, he may call he after the modules, and the two infinitive, he will after two infinitive. These are the functions of in which I can find the base form. Here V. What about the S? S third person singular. He capitalized this one. V hyphen S. V hyphen S. Calls, drinks, puts. When it is used with the present tense or the present tense singular present tense with third person singular. He drink calls, she calls, it calls. You see? Considering the past. Past. Listen, please. Past. Form, the past form. V E D one, please. V E D one. Inna huani da astakhdem hadil form pel past form past tense. 
V E D one. You see, cold, drunk, pot. You see. طبعا في past tense he called yesterday. ing participle يسموها present participle. present participle. it is abbreviated or as a simple as ving. ving. calling, drinking, putting. its functions as were progressive aspects. see ving he is calling in a moment. will ing participle closes calling early. I found her at home. Ed participle here past participle. Past participle. I want you see you should pay more attention for V E D one and V E D two. V E D one past form he had past simple past and past participle now he has V E D one and V E D two. Called drunk puts. One is them perfect aspect. He has drunk the water. Passive voice. Passive voice. He is called Jack. He is called Jack. The passive voice. And ED participle closes like called early. Please, again, pay more attention for the symbols, for the abbreviation. For the base, I use V. For the S form, I use VS. For the ING, I saw VING for the past form VED1 for the past participle VED2. What else? I have if, if VED1 and VED2 are the same form, I use VED without any number. VED, I use VED if they are the same. Lihuel pass and the pass participle. Yeah, listen. Now we are going to deal with something spelling and something related to the pronunciation and the morphology, the, the, the inner the structural or the inner structure of lexical verbs. And now we are going to deal lexical. Concerning the first group of verbs, lexical or lexical verbs, we will consider lexical verbs under two heads: regular and irregular. Regular. In all of them, طبعا, what what is what is similar? What is shared? Regular and irregular. Whether regular and irregular. Regular and irregular. Any in the S the S form and the ing participle it is the same. يعني in the play, play is a regular verb. A regular verb means I can predict all the five forms from the base form. لما ينطيني the base form, I will predict all the five forms. Like. Gulli play, gulli play, plays, playing, played, played. Okay? Lacking. What's wrong with the irregular? Having the base of an irregular verb means that I should predict. There is no rule for the irregular verb. It is something related to, to what different usage, to different words, uh, different verbs, different forms. So I cannot pre predict it from the base. لكن طبعا كل الرجular والرجular عندهم نفس ال ing verb, ال ing form وعندهم نفس ال 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 s form. Starting with the regular. Regular it has four. Why four, not five? نقولنا five. Four because v e d one and v e d two are the same. So here I have what are these forms? I have the, the lexical, I have the base, call, like, draw, try, ing calling, the s form calls, the pass with pass participle here. We done with the ed called. Next to the case like, liking, likes, liked, try, trying, tries, tried. These. Are regular in that we can predict the other form if we know the base of such a verb. This is a very powerful rule. 
since the pace is the form listed in the dictionaries and the vast majority of English have a belong to the regular classes. So, something, something as what settled, something decided. So, if you have the, the pace form of a regular verb, you will know all the other forms.